Good morning, everyone. Sorry. We're in my walk-in closet. My mini walk-in closet. And I was, sorry, I'm talking low. I have, we have a guest staying with us. Doing a poker tournament, so I'm not trying to wake him up. But I'm putting sunscreen on before I leave the house. So, I've had a partner. I'm going to look at the camera. So, I've had a partner for the last couple weeks now. At least three to four days. Hiking with me. Um, no one today. My friend actually got... Um, we think she may have gotten sun poisoning or some a mild case of it. So she's going to break today. But she's been killing it. I'm so proud of you, Jessica. But I'm going to go for us today. I'll call you when I'm done. <laughs> if you haven't already read the text I sent you. <laughs> but, um, so I'm just putting sunscreen on my albino lakes as I like to call them so one of the things that I wanted to talk about today was the change the changes of the body when losing weight um, I noticed I've been asked if I have loose skin how much of it and to be honest I don't have that much but people think, oh, the people that have loose skin weigh 300 plus pounds. Well, I only weighed 202 when I started this journey. Doesn't mean I wasn't bigger. I think the highest I've ever been was 237. But nonetheless, I have a little bit. And it's in the section that I didn't think would affect me. I've always had big breasts. I got them at a very young age. So I just assume, like, because of, I've lost weight. My weight's gone up and down for years. But I have loose skin more in my breasts than I do anywhere else. Like, I can, I can tell that. I have very little in my stomach. I'll show that in a second. I want to make sure because yesterday I didn't put any. I whew, struggling to get up. As you know, I work swing shift, but um, I don't get off until ooh, midnight. And I normally wake up around 10. Because I don't go to bed until around 2. 3.30 is the latest. So. Get these ears. Um, so lately. Or when I hike. I've been getting up. Because I have so much energy. About 6.30. Well, we have friends in town, like I said, or my husband has a friend in town for the poker tournament, and we sit up really late Friday, waiting for him to get into town, and then we stayed up late Saturday, and then normal last night, so my sleeping and eating pattern is a little off. I will not be surprised if I have a weight gain. And I'm not even, I know I hit goal, and like, what happens? You hit goal, and then you gain weight. Celebrated too hard about hitting goal. That's life. I would be lying to you until Jay wasn't like, fuck, I just hit goal, and now... But I know what to do to get it off. So. I'm not even stressing about it. If I gained weight, it'll come off. <laughs> So, like I said, you don't have to weigh 300, 300 plus pounds to have loose skin. 
in the back. I wonder if I can show it. This looks perverted. I have, see, a little. I don't do any stomach exercise. I know I should. I actually just found this great channel or page whatever you want to call it on Instagram and it's all about ab workouts and it's ran by a female um, I'll put somewhere on the screen of what it's called I'm gonna start doing some of the videos that they post but I don't hate it I will not show you I know I can show you in a way that's classy but I don't like my breast anymore due to the weight loss but I'm happy for the weight loss because I can buy cute push-up bras, buy boobs, all that. But you can't buy health. You have to be healthy. So on that note, I'll start you guys back up in the car. Because I'm ready for my hike. I'm going a little later than usual. And then on top of that, why isn't this? Oh, I put my watch on backwards. Um wall tracker um i'm doing something different i do something different every time i go um so i think i may be starting off with the flat trail climb up the side of the mountain go down the side of the mountain finish the flat trail climb back up the side of the mountain and then do the peaks go to the very end finish it off that's because I've skipped a couple days this week and I can feel it and I look at it as almost like a makeup day plus doing something different your body gets used to doing the same thing over and over and I've been hiking at the same place for a while so on that note I have a feeling hiking might be on a break soon because it also is getting hella hot in Vegas we're finally about to hit triple digits and I say finally like I'm excited I'm not but it's finally coming so I have to accept it living in this location also I have to say the mind plays freaking tricks on you I have people coming up to me telling me, damn girl, you look like you weigh 110 pounds. Me personally, when I just look down at my body, I feel like I've only lost half the weight that I've lost. And I've lost a total of 67 pounds. So, with that being said, and from what doctors and nutritionists says, when you've been a certain size for so long and you lose the weight, it can take up to a year to see your results. I'm finally able not to see all of it, but I'm starting to see my results where all of you guys have seen it since the beginning. That being said, it freaks me the fuck out. Cause I've no I know I've lost weight. I I see the pictures, I get it. I see the different clothes size from eighteen plus down to it. Now my eights are loose. But that being said, I used to be that girl who'd get annoyed seeing a skinny bitch go, oh my god, I feel so fat, oh, I'm bloated. And then you look at them and there's nothing wrong with them. I understand that because now I'm that girl. And then I had a non-scale victory, I'll get to the car in a second. I had a non-scale victory moment and it was sweet. I've always said, oh, one day I'll be that girl that goes to the gym in a sports bra or go take a yoga class and walk Trader Joe's or Whole Foods. Abyss went for a hike, went to Trader Joe's, and did not realize that I did all of that in a pair of black leggings and a bomb-ass Nike sports bra and my plaited, um... Red, red and black button down shirt that I had tied around my waist. It was cute. I may have to insert a photo somewhere. But nonetheless, I've always dreamt or thought I would get there. It 
didn't think I would actually achieve it, but doing it and not realizing it until after I'm walking out of Trader Joe's, that was freaking awesome. I'm like, wait a minute, I'm out in public in a pair of leggings and sports bra. Only bitches that get away with this are skinny bitches. But there's a difference. I didn't do Weight Watchers to get skinny. I did Weight Watchers to get healthy. Skinny was just, I guess, the bonus. I don't know how you want to look at it. When I was a child, I was always hella skinny. In fact, I was looking at my scrawny ass legs now and they were reminding me of my younger days. People used to call me bony ass. But with that being said, because now I feel like I'm using this video not to hurry up and like I said, it gets warmer sooner and I'm normally already on the track. So, with that being said, I will see you guys soon. Peace. So I would say we're about halfway to the trail. And there was another non-scale victory. Um, but it happened last weekend. And I'll definitely insert a photo. I, find, I told you I can finally start seeing my results. So I asked my husband, and I don't know why. I, I asked him, I'm like, do you think you can lift me? And he's like, of course I can lift you. I'm like, no, do you think you can lift me like a princess? Like, like, you're, like what people do on their wedding night. And he's like, yeah, I go, but I want to I wanna capture it. So I set up the tripod and the camera, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna set it on a timer. I did like the 10 second thing, and as soon as I hit it, he lifts me up, and he starts playing around. He spins me around, and he gives me a kiss, and that's when the camera decides to snap the box. And when he was spinning me around, I'm like, stop playing, the camera's about to go off, and then he went in and he gave me a kiss, and the camera caught it out my own car and it was just magical he picked me up a couple times that day and it was nice it was romantic I loved it and I'm happy I have the photo to like always go back to because I and that was not only was it the first time that he picked me up like that it was the first time I've ever been picked up like that. I go, as a woman, because I'm pretty sure people have been picked up like that as a child. Like, you fall asleep on the couch and your dad or your mom picks you up and takes you to your bed. But it's not the same. So, I'm going to start with this flat trail. Climb up the mountain. Go all over the mountain down. Finish the flat trail. Walk back. Climb up the mountain and maybe stay on the mountain, go to the last point and then walk it out. I think I will. And I may record certain things of like going up and then down so you guys can see it. But I don't know how much of the trial because I do wanna just focus in because like I said, I. I'm starting late. I start at 7 and it is 8.12, so I got to get this going. So when I get to the point of climbing the mountain, I will bring you back. Hey everyone, so I'm back. Um, sorry I did not film my hike of going up, down, up. My girlfriend who couldn't make the hike today, she talked with me through the whole thing hour and 20 minutes hour and 20 hour and 15 so what I did was I did the flat I climbed up the mountain climbed down the mountain went back to the flat went all the way to our one point then I went where did I go all the way around the mountain the same way I went up I went um, back up again because the side that I went down I didn't feel comfortable climbing it back up so I just went around and then went back up the 
the side of the mountain that I went up on. And then, let's see. Then I walked to the very last peak and I walked my way all the way down, went back to the flat, and then walked to my car. So that was fun. I'm sorry. I'm like sweating. I'm not trying to lose my ear, but. And there's a guy like staring at me. So. Now I am heading to Sprouts. He has a nice big truck. Um, heading to Sprouts. I want to check out this cliff bar thing. And. Ziva. Zivia. Stevia. Brand. I like their. I'm not a big soda person. But if you're going to have a party. And you're only going to have soda. That's the soda I would drink. Because it's considered. The healthy soda. I'm guessing. Assuming. So. That's that. And then I'm addicted to these cliff builder bars. If you're doing Weight Watchers. You know. Builder bars are 10 points for the whole bar that's mad high points for any meal especially a damn bar but when I eat them I eat them at a certain time and it actually holds me over and I get my peanut butter kick because the only one I've been eating is the chocolate peanut butter one and that one's delicious now I found a few other ones but there's this one that I really want to try and I haven't came across it and it's the cookies and cream. So I will be hopefully trying that soon. It's a tundra. Oh, he's a Texas boy. What do you call it? My grocery store makes these huge donuts and I cut them into fours. And I shit you not, I think I ended up eating a whole donut after I said I wasn't going to eat any. And um, I literally ate that. My husband went and did a podcast. And while he did his podcast, I went to sleep. It like it literally makes me never want to have sugar again. No, thank you. And then I had In and Out for the first time in a long time. I want to say I did In and Out maybe within the first month of doing Weight Watchers. I got like protein style, non-animal, and blah blah blah, or non-sauce because I do like grilled onions. This time, I just got a single with the bun, which I don't know why, animal style. Then I got, I normally don't even get fries, but then I got animal style fries, and then I did, like, unsweetened tea. It was delicious. I ate every single bite. It was worth every bite, but I'll, like, the next day, I wouldn't say I have remorse from eating it, but by all means, did I really? Probably not.
I think we're going to go to different parks and walk and maybe even do some at-home workouts. Play Just Dance or Zumba or Taibo or whatever the case may be. Even do weights. I have weights at the house. We can do that. But hiking, I don't know how much longer that will be going on. At least at that location. Because it's all open. So you have sun beating on you the whole time. Versus when you go to Mount Charleston. At least you have the mountains and the trees blocking the sun. And then it's a, definitely a higher elevation over there. So it's going to be cooler. So we just got to figure out. And then we have Red Rock. So we just got to figure out how to make it work with our different schedules and days off. I don't even think I told you guys. A bitch hit goal. Well, I'm probably not at goal no more. But I hit my goal weight. I got down all the way to 135. I still can't believe it. And I'll have to insert a picture. They gave me my I need goal key ring thing with Weight Watchers. So which is funny because oh They gave me a 20 pound, they gave me two 25 pound key rings and one 50 pound key ring and then my gold key ring. But they didn't give me a 5, a 10, or a 15. And I just don't know how that goes. And then they didn't give me the key ring ring to put the charms on it. So I don't know if I need to email them or if I need to go into a Weight Watchers office and maybe someone can just like replace one of the 25s like I'll give you my 25 pound and you give me a 15 and maybe they can give me the ring I don't know if I would need to buy them because you kind of earn them or you don't kind of earn them you do earn them you have to lose the weight in order to get one so but I just don't know how that goes because I would like to have the complete collection I mean, I bust my ass. So, it's just a matter of me actually doing the work on finding out, which I can do probably later today. And once again, I do not, I need to plan these better. There are way better YouTubers than me that plan out a video. You won't catch me getting my face beat. I'm not that kind of girl. I like natural beauty. My husband likes it. I do do eye makeup sometimes, but I'm not trying to get my face all beat to film for a couple hours. You're going to see me. You're going to watch me. You're going to watch me how I am every day, not how some of these YouTubers are where they only be, them, be one way with the camera for so long, and then once it's down... They have another way. I'm good. So I'm going to run into Sprouts. And I will... Maybe I'll show you what I find inside the store. So once again, until next time. I survived Sprouts. Sure did. Um, you're not allowed to film in a lot of grocery stores. So... I wasn't obvious. I did little snippets of my shopping trip. So I'll have to throw some clips in either at the end or right after this. I'm starting to get hungry. I will say I scored. I found everything that I was looking for. I found everything I was looking for and okay. only in Vegas. 
I found everything I was looking for and some. Met a nice lady at the market. I blame my husband. I just talk to strangers now and I know I shouldn't. Like, you can go ahead of me. And she's like, no, it's a leisurely day. Just relaxing. I go, I'm doing my cool down. I go, I just got done with the hike. And she asked me where and I told her and she said that her and her girlfriend go there. So, that would be nice. Maybe one day run into her. I don't know why I don't shop at Sprouts more often. They have great deals on everything. I really should re-download their app. But I like doing grocery online. I feel like I spend less if I don't go into the stores. I honestly feel like that. But, and then I also realized, like, I started looking at all the products that I used to shop there for. Because I shopped there before I was vegan, and I shopped there a lot while I was vegan. And then not so much anymore, which, like I said, I don't know why. But I was looking at all the vegan products. They have a lot of new stuff. Certain brands that I used to buy. Yeah. And I still buy some of those things. Like, just because I'm not vegan no more doesn't mean I don't enjoy it. Because there was a lot of stuff that I actually enjoyed eating while I was vegan. So. I say I have vegan moments. Or vegan days. I mean, who knows? I never say never. Never say never. Isn't that the saying? Because you just never know. I could go back vegan today, tomorrow, next year. Or never. But you never know. I just don't hate on it. I think that's why, like, now that I'm not vegan, I literally only watch maybe two or three vegan channels and they're not as I like to call them crazy vegans like I like Sarah's vegan kitchen I love Kim's channel Kim's my number one channel and then what's the other one I'm drawing a blank and I own her book. Hi, 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 Carp Hannah. I like her channel. These roads are bumpy. Mm, I think that's all I watch that are vegan at least. Hmm. I guess when a lot of, from what I've noticed, people with vegan John, and I think I did it too, hopefully not as bad, is you'll have a channel, some will go vegan, and it'll slowly become the vegan channel, which is fine, but your channel should represent who you are, but then it becomes a constant, you're not a good human because you're not vegan, that's not cool. I do agree with some of the stuff that they speak about. That's why when, and I, who's to say my meat is better than the meat that their other meats, but I'm just saying like, I do eat meat. I do try to buy a better quality of meat because the meat industry is fucked up. I do respect, hey, I respect more people that go out there and hunt and kill for their animal, like, and eat it from the rooter to the tutor, no waste, nothing. And they thank that animal for, you know, being on this earth and now giving up their life. Granted, right? that animal did not choose to die. The life was taken from them. But nonetheless, they thank them for, for their body. And then you just have people that go to the market and they buy whatever they want. And then you got kids nowadays that are like, I... I don't eat pig. I'm like, did you not have bacon this morning? Well, yeah, I had bacon. Oh, that's pig. Like, nowadays, a lot of kids don't know 
what they're eating. They have no clue. They don't know how to compare the two from a burger is a cow or chicken nuggets is from a chicken. Like, you know, like a lot of kids nowadays, they don't know milk, cow, cheese, cow. Eggs come from chicken. Like, a lot of them don't know how to compare the two or, and I don't know why. And shit, half of them don't even know where the hell fruit and vegetable come from. It's like the, educating your children on agri. Oh, I'm gonna fuck this word up. Ugh. I didn't grow up on a farm. A agriculture, like learning where our foods and our plants and animals and just knowing all that stuff. And it's not going down anymore. And it's kind of sad. I am now home and I will show you what I got. When I get in. All right, I'm back. I have a little grocery haul from Trader Joe's. Let's start over here. Somewhere I will put the price. But I saw blood orange and probiotic tea. Organic raw fizz. This is less in calories than kombucha. It's pretty much the same thing. I got two big bottles of water for work. I'm finally trying the Good Karma Dairy-Free Flax Milk Omega-3 Plus Protein Unsweetened. I think I'm gonna try it with using it to mix my protein shake. I got me one LaCroix. I wanted to try the passion fruit. I got me the Zevia Zero Calorie Mountain Dew version as a little treat to go with my lunch, which I have no clue what the hell I'm going to eat. Some more sparkling water because me and my husband have been on a sparkling water, mineral water, seltzer water kick. Some pre-cooked uh, shredded ch white meat chicken. Price is right there. I got me some brown rice pasta. I'm gonna try this one. Um, I make the Felicia Stroganoff from Weight Watchers, and she uses this pasta, so I'm gonna give it a shot. I also got some more eggs, even though I just bought three things of eggs we're already down one and we like I said we have company so I picked up an extra because me and my husband go through a lot of eggs now and then these beautiful gems my girlfriend told me about them there's zero points on Weight Watchers they're delicious and I just had to go and pick some up for those that want to see let me move over here Nutrition, zero calorie, one can. Organic brewed tea, purified water. Organic natural flavoring, citric acid, organic stevia leaf. Bomb. Simple, short ingredients. I picked this up. Sometimes you just need to scrub your body down. So I got one of those. And then hold on. Okay, you just saw a little piece of it. Let me focus on something before. This is my new addiction. I blame this on Kimberly Flanagan. I'm addicted to chocolate peanut butter builder protein bars by Cliff. They're 20 grams. Uh, the Spartan Race was, that was their official protein bar for this year. And I am addicted. And I know this. Yesterday I finally found the chocolate one, the vanilla almond. Now, I found this. Cookies and cream. Yes. I am addicted. I bought the last that they had. The only thing that is left in that store is the vanilla almond and the chocolate mint. And I'm not a mint person. And to prove how addicted these are, I have two. I almost bought this 
finally got the vanilla. Oh, and I found yesterday the crunchy peanut butter. Another vanilla. I believe that's it. So, I have... I have 10 bars already, and I needed to pick six more up because that's what you do when you have an addiction. So that was my grocery hauls from Sprouts, and like I said, I'm going to have to change my hiking, change where I shop, and it's time for a shower so I can figure out what I'm going to cook. But I have to show you this. Do you see that beautiful boy right there? He's some baby. Nini, say hi. Say hi to the beautiful people. Yeah. Where's your ball? Where's your ball? That's my baby. one or two throws and he's done with me so that was the haul I'll have the prices you'll see it and I'm gonna insert some videos clips that I took and stuff that I found that I didn't buy but you might be interested in or don't know that sprouts carry it now but I think I may end this I don't know if I'm gonna do what I eat in a day so if I do do what I eat in a day, I hope you enjoy it. And if I don't, I apologize. Maybe next time. But thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me babble on and on. Because I, I have no clue what I got in this video. But I hope it helps you. And learn to love the new body that you're rebuilding. And have a blessed day. <laughs> Bye, everyone. and cream and the chocolate and peanut butter. They only have the vanilla bean left and the peppermint. But I took the last of the chocolate and the last of the cookies and cream. Right now they're on sale for two for three. All right, Jessica, they're three for five. We're looking at black tea, raspberry tea, peach tea, green tea, blood or passion fruit, and lemon. I'm grabbing the peach for you and the rest for me. I don't know how many of you guys are in the but now they have them in the bottles. Yeah. 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 Check out your local spots. Alright, I'm about to start getting ready for work, but I totally forgot to share this with you. I know a lot of people know about this. I'm late to the game. But I knew about this product before this product came out. And this one just dropped recently. The Peach Rings by Smart Sweets. Look at these nutrition facts. Zero fats. 33 carbs but 28 grams of fiber and only three grams of sugar. This whole bag, and it's a lot, sometimes I can't even finish a bag, but this one I think I'll have no problem, is three points. And accidentally plant-based, I'm just saying. Free, oh, free from sugar alcohols, even better can't wait they have sour they have berry 
for the sweet fish. And these are pretty much what you can copy the Sour Patch Kids. So, order them online. Go to GNC or GMC, whichever one it is, the vitamin shop. But they're delicious and only three points on Wheat Watchers. Thank me later. <laughs> Have a great day, everyone. Bye.